Shut up. Hand out to four. But to, to slow ball down the straight wall from the front and the back, high, takes a lot of skill calculation. And Will Strott will need to do that at times because uh, Gaultier rips into those front corners so well. Looking at uh, down. one of the best movers, if not the best mover of the, the modern game, Gregory Gaultier. 9-4, left please. So six game balls all the way through for Gregory Gaultier, completely Nullified James Wallstrop after that superb start from the Yorkshireman. And he is looking sprightly. It's like a terrier on the tee. That posturing and body language. And you're coupled with the fact that uh, Wallstrop's made a couple of strange unforced errors, and that's loose. That could well. be a stroke. Wallstrop's off court. He's not even going to review that. He's gone. He's, do you think his strings have gone there? That was a strange shot. Yeah, it was strange. Four. Absolutely. It's, great. it's always great to see in any sport when the. Uh, Pass greats come back and thoroughly enjoy it. And it's great to get their opinions. So much knowledge. That is an unbelievable oh, pickup. Unbelievable. Oh, that's outrageous. You've got to see that he, again. He got all those. Like, everything How does was he clean do there. it, Parky? I don't know. No idea. Fantastic <laughs> athleticism here from Gautier. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's okay. inch perfect from Wilstrop. But Gautier, it's just that court coverage. I mean, his ankle's looking pretty good to me. <laughs> And you can hear the racket of Gaultier. Oh, oh wow. Talk about the racket. <laughs> We've already seen a few wows from, from Gaultier, but this is vintage Wilstrop. Noise of the racket. Three, four. Tight to the side wall, and then the beautiful finish controlled into the opposite oh. corner. Well, he's, he's really picked up his game, though, this week and in this particular match, Gaultier. He hasn't played like this in the previous two matches. Well, he hasn't, had to, hasn't had to, has he? No, he's, he's had to pick it up. And, Oh, my goodness me. I mean, that is just a shocking from Gaultier. Just acknowledging James Wallstrop, his honesty there. Nine. I don't know why four. he was his honesty there, because he didn't pick the ball up, but he was, unless he was appreciating Well, he was crowd. appreciating the tap on the backs from Wallstrop saying, well done. Yeah, it was a great uh, shot. So was, you know, it's too good. It's great too good. shot, great shot. Knew exactly where he was. Control of the middle. He always has that sixth sense of where his opponent is. Wilstrop was off balance coming out of the corner. Sends him Head back out. into that Ten, seven. Game ball. side of the court. So. Out. That was out of court. Popping out from one of the panels Eleven, there. Game to so to to James that. Wallstrop really does have a lot of work to do. Good acceleration from James Wallstrop. I wouldn't say Wallstrop's having one of his best movement days, but he really made right, a well. conscious effort to get onto that ball quickly to Three deceive left. Gaultier on the sidewall. Yeah, it's one of his favourite shots, that, at the front. He's using the, the wrist to get it around the angles. Oh, oh, that's that's quality. Quality. So, Wallstrop responding. The mental strength of James Wallstrop is second to... Gaultier starting to kind of go a little bit into his shell again. <laughs> his eyes Barely are keeps his eyes open now. He needs a bit of stimulation. He needs a big rally here. And there we go. Just well, that'll stimulate him a bit. It will a little bit. And now. That's another one. Then we'll start to see the strut. <laughs> the eyes will widen. Listen to that quality. response, Parshi. Unbelievable quality from Wilstrup there. He was so in control. And that line and length from the first one is what set Eight, up the cross court drop. Three. Knowledge by Gaultier.
seven ten. Game ball. Well, he's having a good look at Will Strop. So Gaultier closes it down. Still two game balls though for the Englishman. Oh, he's made the error. He's made the Eleven error. Eight. Will Strop holds on. Two games to one. Shot. Great control from Will Strop again. Oh, look Great at that. reactions. <laughs> this is just... <laughs> Let's keep it going, boys. Enjoying this. Great depth from Gautier. He's just setting up that opportunity. Oh, he's made the error. He's made the error. He's working Will Strop really hard. Both these guys, it was that. Playing well at the same time, you were saying, Parky, the retrieval Four, abilities of Gaultier at one stage, getting balls back, and the skills of Wilstrop, and uh, that was a big miss. For it was the easiest shot of the rally, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. Lovely service from Wilstrop. Well, shot. he is. He's picking him off. He's picking him off. Gaultier just signifying his gesture here that it's not good enough with. So he raises his arms up. He's got to get it wide because the range has been found by the marksman. It certainly has. And we talk about the, the shot making of Wilstrop to the front of the court, but the length he's hitting now is exquisite. Oh, oh that was. What a late flick that was. How late. Fantastic to see. Gautier, absolutely Nine, no chance four, here. Right I think the whole audience went the wrong way as well. Yeah, Jules Taxi. Great get from both players. It's incredible stuff here. Oh, wow. wow. This is unbelievable. <laughs> You've got to remember, these guys are, you know, 33 years of age. And they are moving around the court. I mean, Will Strop moves differently to Gaultier, obviously, but he's still Game getting ball. balls back. They're like 18-year-olds, aren't they? They're teenagers. <laughs> it's incredible. So Will Shop's done it, and the crowd go ballistic. Howls from the crowd. Because they're fully aware of the stubbornness of Will Strop. Oh, oh, wow. wow. <laughs> Absolutely rolled. I mean, you can hear the strings singing there. Wonderful technique, open racket face. Look at the balance here of Will Strop. <laughs> he just the cuts follow through as well. I know, he cuts inside out on that. That was exquisite from Wilstrop. Unbelievably low and tight. No pace on the ball whatsoever. Needs <laughs> to find his length and line, though, Gregory Gaultier. It's just not good enough if he's going to put some pressure on James Wilstrop. The marksman has found his range. He started to really find that back end of the third. It's clever. Yeah, it was he clever. Shaped for the cross court drop, he did. didn't he? And then he. Straight going straight out. to see if Gaultier and just got seven four. Very clever with his body position. It's well dug out cross court from Wilstrop. He was just in a little bit of bother in that back right. <laughs> oh, uh, it's Wonderful bread and butter. I mean, it was a lovely exchange. Up and down that backhand wall Nine, to the back of the court five. between the two, and then Wilstrop capitalised on the loose ball. Quality from Wilstrop presents for the Englishman five match balls, and he's done it. The unforced error for Gregory Gaultier. James Wilstrop has battled through against Gregory Gaultier. It's good to see these guys have been knocking seven bells out of each other since they were very, very young. As young as 11, 12 years of age, and it's Wilstrop's day today. 68 minute first semi final, and James Wilstrop coming back from two games to love down to win three games to two.